primed my face off camera. So now I'm going to take this Maybelline concealer and prime my eyes with it. And of course blend it out with a damp sponge. So next is obviously face paint, so I'll be taking this cream stick in the color white, obviously, from Mayron, smearing it all over my face and then blending it out with a beauty blender. While I wait for my face paint to dry, I'm going to apply this mascara from L'Oreal Paris on my eyebrows so it matches my wig color. Now that my face is dry, I'm going to powder it with some CoverGirl pressing powder. Okay, so now that I'm done with the basics, what's next? Eye makeup! So I'm taking my Beauty Gems eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this magenta pinkish purple shade and I'll be gradually building that up towards my eyebrows or almost up to my eyebrows. going to gradually build the intensity and blend it out. Next, I'm going to take this slightly darker purple shade and put that in my crease with a Gem Squad blending brush. Then I'm going back with the first brush and blending all of it out. To intensify and deepen the look, I'm going to take this medium purple and put that in my crease and outer corners. So off camera, I mixed that same purple eyeshadow I previously used and picked up a little bit of black eyeshadow to once again really deepen the eye look. Next, I'm going to take this Maybelline liquid eyeliner and I'm going to do a standard line with no wing because despite all this heavy makeup, I want to try my best to look somewhat like a young girl, just like the spirit of the marionette. Next, these. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes with this new G Squad, Gem Squad, I think that's the name, the eyelash curler. I'm new to it, so if I'm doing it wrong, please don't judge me. And mascara, and lashes, and after that, we're moving on. Okay, now it's time to do the actual puppet makeup, and not just the artistic differences. So... On a flat brush from Glam Squad, I'm going to sketch out um, the purple tears, I think, uh, of the puppet. And then I'm going to fill that in with that same brush. And by the way, it's a water-activated face paint, just in case it wasn't obvious, from Tag.
Okay, so I know it looks bad, but don't worry, because then I take my beauty blender and blend out the imperfections to try to make the paint job look more even and smooth. Next, I'm taking my red lip liner from Mirabella and drawing on the circles. I'm not using face paint because this is so pigmented and lipsticks and this type of lip liner, it's more pigmented than actual face paint. So that's why I'm drawing on the circles and filling it in. Again, to look a little childish like the spirit of the puppet, I'm taking a gray eyeshadow and contouring the tip of my nose into a triangle to narrow the nose down. Then I'm taking this highlight and putting it in the center. And the final step is this black lipstick. You could use whatever black lipstick, you could use whatever you want at home. I'm just listing what I'm using. And yeah, that is the final result of this puppet makeup. I'm blending some of it out with my fingers. And that's really it.